Hello, my name is Bruce Dorn. and I'm one of the staff scientists at Science North and this is a quick video about sunscreen and really kind of explain how sunscreen or soft lockers work and really kind of overview of what this whole uh, rating of SPF factors is all about. I've got uh, Kavita, one of my colleagues, uh, filming me and we're actually going to start off with a very neat technology that one of my colleagues, Tyler, will show us to really kind of showcase how sun loggers work. So we're going to go off right over here. Tyler will show us this very new technology. Hey guys, so what we have here is a UV camera. So just like a regular camera is absorbing the light the sun is giving off, the sunlight bounces off everything and you see the image. Same thing with the UV camera. It's got a special filter that won't let visible light through, only ultraviolet light, a special chip that is sensitive to the ultraviolet light. So anything that appears white in the image is reflecting all the ultraviolet light. If it appears black, it's going to be absorbing ultraviolet light. So this will let us figure out what the sunscreen is actually doing. So what we're seeing like right over here, we're seeing kind of like the ground. So the ground is just reflecting the UV light. That's what you're saying, Tyler? That's right, yeah. Okay. So I actually put some sunblocker right here. I don't know if you see it. It's actually a little darker here and a little darker here. And I have some sunscreen sunblocker right here. I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead so we can actually see my forehead right here. I'm just going to put a strip and see what happens when I put a strip. So what's happening, Tyler, when we see this, like this dark spot? So since it's dark, it's not reflecting the ultraviolet light, it's actually absorbing all of the UV, which would mean it's also preventing it from getting through to your skin. Cool. So this type of sunscreen, or really sun blockers, are blocking the sun, especially the UV rays, from getting into my skin. It's actually being absorbed by this uh, product. That's right. The ultraviolet rays are the high energy ones that actually cause sunburn. Regular light isn't to worry. It's only the invisible ultraviolet light that you have to worry about blocking. Cool, okay, thank you very much, Tyler. All right, so now what I wanna talk about is, I get this question all the time, and you know, we, we, we hear that our sunscreens have different uh, SPF ratings, you know, you hear about SPF 15, 30, and so on and so forth. What does SPF stand for? Well, it stands for Sun Protection Factor, okay? And the number that's on there gives us a rating of how long a person would uh, be able to stay in the sun uh, without burning. So we'll give you a, a quick, quick example. So let's say you're taking SPF 15, all right? And you're the type of person who's very fair-skinned and you would burn in 10 minutes. So with SPF 15, if you apply it onto your skin, that would mean that you'd be able to stay in the sun for about 150 minutes without burning. Now we got to keep certain things in mind. That all depends if uh, you keep the sunscreen on as long as you're not sweating or the sunscreen doesn't come off. There's many many different factors behind that. Another question that people ask me a lot is what SPF factor should I be using for me, my family and so, so on and so forth. And I've got three examples here. I'm not endorsing any of these products. I just grab them just to showcase the different levels of. So we have an SPF 30, we got a 50, and 100. At SPF 30, this uh, chemical, the chemical that you're gonna put on your, on your skin, will actually absorb 97% of the UV rays that will uh, be hitting your skin. As you go up, let's say 50 or 100, it will go up a little bit, like 99%, but not much more. So what dermatologists recommend is an SPF 30. You can put this on, but frankly, you're kind of wasting your money, okay? This is just as effective as the other ones. Maybe these ones you can stand a little bit longer, but it's not really worth it. The other thing also is when people put high SPF, they think they're protected for way longer, but again, they don't realize that their physical activities or whatever activities they can do could be removing this sunscreen and they get this false sense of protection that the sunscreen is actually going to protect them, which in fact is actually gone. So just a couple of things also I want to point out. This one right here is a spray. So I've seen a lot of uh, parents use it for their kids. And there's a couple of little things to keep in mind when you're using a spray. A, be careful that you're not inhaling the spray. That's a little dangerous. And the other thing also is by putting this on, you're not quite sure how much you're applying to your skin. And the rule of thumb is that you should be applying 
about one ounce of sunscreen, sun blocker, every so often. So one ounce is about a shot glass full, right? So to all exposed areas. So that's quite a lot of uh, sun blocker and sunscreen. Also, you got to keep in mind, it all depends on the activities you're doing. So if you decide to go swimming and you get out of the water, you're going to have to reapply. If you're uh, sweating profusely, you're going to probably have to reapply much more often. Okay. So rule of thumb is for the best or the ones that you should buy as sunblock or sunscreen. Recommendation is an SPF 30. You also want one that's called a broad spectrum uh, sunblock or sunscreen. It absorbs uh, the UVA and UVA. Uh, the two types of UVs that we know can uh, cause skin damage. And also you'd like something that is water resistant, that will stay on your skin maybe for 40 to 80 minutes. But again, keep in mind that you will have to reapply depending on your activities and whether or not you are swimming. So hopefully this will give you some tips. Hopefully this will uh, help you decide what you should uh, be wearing. And frankly, rule of thumb is, please wear your sunscreen whenever you're outside. Thank you very much.